Today I'd like to talk just a little bit about catalytic converters, what they do, and where our industry is with those. Um, catalytic converter is actually the last line of defense in your exhaust system for emissions. It cleans up uh, hydrocarbons, CO2s, nitrates of oxygen, and helps keep our air cleaner. Starting in about 1998, manufacturers started monitoring the effectiveness of the catalytic converter by placing an oxygen sensor either in it or after it in the exhaust system so that the computer could know if it was doing its job. Now that has created a little bit of an issue. In the past, when a catalytic converter failed, we were able to cut out the old one and put in usually a universal fit catalytic converter and get the car through emissions. On today's cars, it doesn't work quite as well because the engineer has designed the catalytic converter specifically for this car and is looking for a specific result. So frequently what happens if an aftermarket cab has been put in, they work temporarily for perhaps maybe a year. And this car is a perfect example of that happening. This has been done three years ago and every year since this cat has failed and has been in need of replacement. Uh, to actually bring this car up to stop this pattern from happening, we would need to replace this universal cat with a factory cat. And unfortunately in this case, the technician that installed this one cut off the flange and now there's nothing to bolt the new cat to and now also needs this section of pipe as well. The expense on that adds about $400. So to do the universal, yes it was a $500 fix uh, versus doing it correctly which is about a $1,000 fix. But when you factor in doing it every year for four years, is it really a deal? Kind of deal or no deal? So what we recommend is always going back with a factory quality part and that way you don't have to do it multiple times.